and welcome back to Species Spotlight. Today, we are going to talk about a very common wading bird that we see around here in Burlington County, the great blue heron. Great blue herons are the largest heron in North America and are related to other heron species, egrets, and bitterns. Great blues are usually around 40 to 54 inches tall with a wingspan of 65 to 80 inches. The average lifespan for a great blue heron is around 15 years. Although they are the largest heron in North America, they only weigh around 5 pounds. This is due to the fact that most bird species actually have hollow bones in their body, making it easier for flight to occur. Great blue herons hunt by standing silently along lakes, ponds, and streams for any food such as fish, frogs, and even rodents and reptiles. When hunting for food, herons will generally stalk their prey by standing still or wading in shallow waters very slowly. Thanks to specially shaped vertebrae in their neck, great blue herons can quickly strike prey at a distance instead of diving for food. Great blues also have specialized feathers on their chest that continually grow and fray. The herons comb these feathers with a fringe claw on their middle toes and use them like a washcloth to remove fish slime and other oils from the rest of their body feathers as they preen. You are actually able to see great blue herons all year round in Burlington County as they are considered resident birds. In the winter, while the fish and other aquatic species that they normally feed on are overwintering at the bottom of lakes and ponds, herons will actually change up their diet to small rodents that visit waterways for a drink. While great blue herons are generally solitary hunters, when breeding season comes along, they tend to nest in one main location called a rookery. Rookeries can have over 100 nests being utilized during the season, and nesting together like this ensures that hatchlings and juveniles are protected from any predators looking for a meal. There is actually an active heron rookery right in our park system that is visible from Amico Island. The best time to see all the great blue herons gather is from March through June when nesting season is in full swing. In the winter, you are able to see just how many heron nests there are. Now that you know a little more about these species, I hope you get outside and try to observe their interesting behaviors. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Species Spotlight.